Hello, Seth here, and this is my first tutorial on how to use Nutex LightWave Modeler to create 3D models. Seeing as this is the first tutorial, I will only be going over the interface and a couple simple controls. Right here, you will see the screen has been split into four different pieces. The top, back, right, and perspective here are different views that you can use while creating your models. These three here combine to create the perspective view and I'd suggest you keep all three of these as they are as they allow you to interact with each side of your object individually and view them over here. You'll see in the top right corner of each of these views there's a set of controls there's this set of four arrows which allows you to shift and move. This here which allows you to twist and rotate. And this magnifying glass that allows you to zoom in and out. Now all of those are pretty much unneeded as Alt lets you click and drag to move things and rotate as well. And then period zooms and comma zooms out. So it's a lot quicker to use those keyboard sor shortcuts. Up here you'll also see this little blue arrow. And when that, when you click that, it zooms in exactly on that one view that you clicked it for. Now to get out of this single view mode, you click back and it brings the other views. Now, when you're creating a model, you've got three different modes that you can use to interact with your objects. Points mode allows you to interact with points on your object. Edge mode allows you to interact with edges. And polygon mode allows you to interact with polygons. You can tell which mode you're in based on your cursor. For points it's a plus, edges it's a dash, and for polygons it's an X. Or you can look down here and see where they are. In the newer versions of Lightwave, they have moved it up here On the left hand side you'll see a various assortment of tools and if you look at the top across right here you'll find the different tabs. Each one of these tabs has a different set of tools specific to it and it allows you to do a lot of things. We'll start right here on the create tab. And the create tab has primitives, text, uh, points that you can add into the map polygons, and curves. Now I'm just going to deal with primitives real quick because this is how you'll start most models unless you've got something specific in mind. And I clicked box and when you first create the box you stretch it out it's just a click and drag and then you lift it up also a click and drag. And maybe you don't want the box to look exactly like this. You can adjust its size afterwards and then when you're done you can press space or enter. Up in the top right corner here there's a few other things. Right here this will let you switch between different projects you're working on and over here are the different layers you can have. If I switch to this layer here, you'll see that my box has disappeared. If I switch to this bottom part of the first layer, you can see that my box is all black and I can't see the sides. That means that it's in the background. This is good for making another object that's relative in proportion to your first object. So if I want to make this piece bigger, I can. Then you go back to your first object and you can put your second object in the background, and so on. If you hold shift and click the top corner, it allows you to view both layers at the same time. Alright, that'll be all for today. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.